Yo, what's up guys? It's Raid, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been like, well over a year since I posted, and my last video was my Minecraft parody of Road Trip by Dream. If you haven't already listened to it, go do that now. It's a good song, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I haven't talked to y'all in a long time. It's been about eight months since my last Twitch stream, and that's a long time. A lot can happen in eight months. I know last time I left, and returned, I said it would be the last time. And then I left again. <laughs> but I had a good reason. Last time you saw me, I had hair down to here that was dark brown. And I have cut it all off and dyed it green and black. Since the start of my Twitch channel, this has always been my icon. It's a cute little character that kind of resembles me with green and black hair. And that's because when I started streaming, I had green and black hair. It looked pretty much like this, except it was a straight cut down here. <laughs> and then I had to dye it completely black for my job, which was McDonald's. I still don't know why they made me do that. And then when it came time to face reveal, it had faded to that dark brown. And that's what I had for the entirety of my career. <laughs> that's all you knew. But when I left, I got it re-dyed and I cut it all off and I honestly couldn't be happier. Green is my favorite color, if you couldn't tell. Literally my entire wardrobe is black and green, and I'm not making that up. <laughs> now a lot has happened since I left. I started school in my junior year of high school, which is honestly the most important year of your high school career. You finish getting your credits, you take the SATs, it's a big year. It's one of your last, and that's scary to think about. I also turned 17. I'm gonna be an adult soon. <laughs> that's also scary to think about. If you know anything about me, you know that I love theater. I love acting. That's what I want to do when I grow up. I want to move to New York City and be on Broadway. That's my goal. And uh, my school has a little thing called thespians. If you don't know what the thespians are, it's a, um, it's basically theater, but for people who are more committed. And I became vice president of um, our thespian uh, troop, or troop two. Because thespians was actually founded in my city, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Every year in my uh, state, we have a, a state thespian competition where you submit a one act play to be, to compete. And if you win states, you move on to nationals. It's a big deal. And we had auditions for our play in late August, and I got the lead. <laughs> the show was called Desdemona in the Afterlife, and I played Desdemona, and I loved that role. That's what I focused most of my time on, and is a big reason why I quit streaming. The regional competition for our play was in February, where we got fourth out of four shows. <laughs> bit embarrassing but you know it's not my fault because we had two of our main actors go out for COVID two days before the competition <laughs> so <laughs> yeah but it's still something I devoted all my time to and I couldn't be prouder of the show and my cast it was honestly a good experience stage went around in late March and that was an amazing time. Even though we didn't get to compete our show, we still got to go and watch other shows and you can take classes on like acting and stage combat and it's so cool. I had such a great time. I met so many good people. It's, it was incredible. I also got my driver's license, which is a huge deal. So I haven't really been here, been in this room a lot. I've been out. I said bye y'all and I took off. Driving is so fun. It's, it honestly calms me down a lot. <laughs> Apart from, you know, my show, focusing on school, taking the SATs, my birthday, getting my license, I've really been taking this time to work on myself. I'm a lot happier than I was back when I was streaming. Does that mean that streaming isn't gonna come back? No, it's gonna come back and it's gonna be better than it's ever been before because I'm happy, <laughs> you know? I'm loving life, I'm having fun. I started taking care of myself, you know? I went to the dentist for the first time in a while, which is a really big step for me. I've been taking care of myself. I've been up on it. 
I've been building confidence, you know? I feel better than I've ever felt. And that's huge. <laughs> that's what a lot of my time has gone to. It's gone to my show and it's gone to making myself a better person. I'm having a good time. <laughs> Does this mean that streaming didn't make me happy? No. I would wake up every day wanting to stream and that would be my, you know, my drive to go was, you know, go to school, get home so I can stream. But, you know, when it starts to feel like a burden, that's when you know something is wrong. And something was wrong. But I fixed it. And that's why I'm so excited to find time to start streaming again. Because I've been very busy. I'm a busy kid. <laughs> but streaming is something I want to do for... As long as I can think, you know? For the, at least the rest of the time I'm in this state, I'm gonna stream. Once I get to New York, I don't know what's gonna go on from there. <laughs> no, but I hope to come back and I hope to be better than ever, you know? These past eight months, I've been working behind the scenes, you know, like making sure my computer's good, you know, taking care of, you know, behind the scenes stuff. I've been editing, talking to other streamers. I've been having a good time, you know? And I'm ready to devote that to my own streaming career. So what's going to happen with the future of Raid is Dead? I don't know for sure when I'm going to start streaming again. I'm going to aim towards at latest end of May. I'm not sure though. I would like to do YouTube. <laughs> I think that would be a lot less pressure than streaming. But here's the kicker. <laughs> As you're watching this, if all goes to plan, tomorrow I'm getting an intensive knee surgery. April 14th. They're going to move my bone around and stretch tissue over my kneecap. Because four years ago, I had a knee injury that completely shattered my knee. And I had to have reconstructive surgery on it four years ago. <laughs> but they didn't, they weren't able to fix it completely. And now is the time for them to try again. So yeah, when you see this, tomorrow I will be going under and getting an operation done on my knee. Which is really scary to think about because that takes away, like I said earlier, that driving calms me down. That's going to take away driving. I'm going to be right there for a good month before I can walk again. So I don't know when I'm going to be able to return. People have asked, you know, I've had people come to me on Discord asking, when are you going to stream again, you know? And it sucks, but I don't know. I don't. I'm hoping I'll be able to move at least a little bit and get in this chair and I can do something, but I don't know. I'm going to be in a big immobilizer for, I think he said at least four months. And there's like a little dial on it that uh, every so often my physical therapist will be able to adjust to where I can bend my knee further and further. So I don't know. <laughs> it's a huge deal. But school's wrapping up. I just got over all the hard stuff. I'm living life, you know? Just sailing through it. I don't know what's gonna happen in the future. I don't know what's happening right now, if I'm being honest. I'm just going with the flow. But I hope this clears things up for you guys. And I hope I can come back soon. Because I miss it, and I miss you guys a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave some suggestions for when I come back down in the comments. What do you want to see me stream? What do you want to see on this YouTube channel? Let me know. Also, tell me what you've been up to these past eight months. I want to know. I miss you guys. But that's going to be it for now. <laughs> Peace out.